everybody, it's Kristen and I am going to be doing the under $5 tag for you. So this started out as the under $10 tag and I was tagged by the lovely Tammy from Uppy Speeds as well as Gina Creon and I will list both of them below. Thank you so much to those ladies for tagging me. And then Emily had to take it up a notch and, and change it to the under $5 tag. And so I decided I would I would do that. I would go ahead and I would take on that challenge. And when she and I were talking about I will list Emily below for you as well, by the way. Um, when she and I were talking about it, I said, I think I could even manage to do it with under $5 for brushes and things I, you know, apply the makeup with. And she was like, boy, if you can do that, there'd be some kind of a plaque or a trophy or something in store for you. So I said, bring it on. I'm all for getting a plaque or a trophy. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today. Now, um, in full disclosure... I'm going to start applying while I'm talking to you. So the first thing I'm going to be using is the Wet n Wild Primer Base. And um, this actually I heard about for the first time from Sharon Coppert. Anybody that I mention I will list below for you. So this is the second time I'm filming this. I did this the first time and I will show you the quad that I used. And it was not good. <laughs> and I, I struggled to get anything to look decent and blended and... So I decided I would just start again and go back to a quad that I knew I liked. So this is a primer that as you put it on, it feels more like a lotion as you're starting to put it on. And then it really kind of dries down to a silicone feel, which I don't usually love. But I find this very interesting. I, I, might, I might enjoy this. I'm just not sure. It's too soon. So then next I... So by the way, I spent some time in the drugstore section of Walmart really kind of digging around and looking and and things I, I just am shocked by how much a lot of things cost these days but I was I was really trying to buy from different brands so it wasn't all elf or all wet and wild or all rimmel so the foundation that I grabbed and I haven't used this before was the rimmel match perfection and this is 24 hour moisture pore blurring effect so I have to tell you guys kind of the bonus of of doing this again I do not appreciate this I never have and um, I will probably get one of those airless pumps. So the bonus of doing this again is that I can give you guys a little feedback. So when I put this on the first time, I really felt like it oxidized on contact. But then it blended out and it seemed to work really well. This is the Real Techniques um, Beauty Sponge. This uh, All of these things are under $5. And look at the... I, I was really impressed with the coverage of this. And it lasted a long time. So I only wore it the one time. Um, but... I don't know, I was really impressed with it. So I'm just adding a, just a little bit more coverage. Another layer, but just kind of on the area where I need the extra coverage. Nose and my red cheek. All right, now we come to one of the products that was a fail. And this is the e.l.f. concealer, and that's all it says on it is conceal. It doesn't even say that, it just says ivory. But I, I, the package just said e.l.f. concealer. And it's, I'm not sure if you guys can see, it's, it has, it kind of has a little correctingness to it. I need more brightening than correcting. If you need more correcting, this might be worth it to you. It does crease a little bit. You have to kind of, you can have to kind of work with it a little bit. But do you, can you see? I'm looking in the viewfinder to see if you can tell. It's hard to tell with my lens. Concealer, this is the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. The concealer that I wanted to use, and I start with this and then I'll, I'll tap with that beauty blender as well. Um, the concealer that I wanted to use was some Rimmel Match Perfection because I know I've used that and liked it. But again, I was trying to try different things and not use all from one brand. To try to blend that in, I'm just going to go over the top of it a little bit with the end I've blended in my foundation on. We can make this work. Alright, so if you've watched me for any length of time, you know I like to have a little drink of coffee. And I'm just moving things around here a little bit. So if you've watched me for any length of time, you know that I always set my foundation with a powder foundation. That's just my preference. So I grabbed the Maybelline Fit Me. I had no idea this was under $5. And I got Nude Beige. And this is the e.l.f. Complexion Brush, which is different. I remember it being a little bit longer, but this was the one they had. These are now $4.00 versus three dollars not that that's a bad thing i'm just just sharing information now we're just going to set everything and i like to do this before i do my bronzer or blush or anything 
All right, next I have my Wet n Wild Contour Palette. I'm going to use the same brush. You can feel I have a hair on me. And I'm going to use this kind of as bronzer and contour, so I'm just going to kind of widely go here, if that makes sense. It's really it's a nice multitasker brush. I know that I've talked about the original form of this before, but I can't find it. I had to buy a new one. So I have a feeling I gave it to my niece or something like that. It's very soft, blends very well. I know Emily talks about this brush a lot, but in case you've never given this brush a look, it is a really nice multitasker. All right, so I purchased the blush brush, and I ended up not liking it for blush when I did this video the other day, so I will be going back to that brush for that. But I'm going into the lighter portion of this and going underneath my eyes. Just kind of... Brightening things up a little bit. The blush that I purchased, some of these things I had things for under $5, some things I didn't. And when I was filming this the other day, I was like, oh, I could have used Wet n Wild Rose Champagne. I completely forgot about that. I don't know why. But anyway, so I picked up one of the Cheekers blushes, and I don't know that I've ever had one of these. And this is the one in something rose, Brick Rose. I loved, I really liked how this looked. It took too long. You have to build it up. It took too long to build up with a blush brush. But using this brush, it goes a little faster. It's not like super pigmented or anything. Let's <laughs> just so you know. But it's it's a good. It would be a good starter blush, I think, for um, like a high school or if you just yourself want a blush that is easy to put on. You don't have to think about how much pigmentation it has. You can build it up nicely or just do kind of a wash of color. Just going to go into the blush brush a little bit and. Since it's a little more precise, I'm going to build up some color and then just blend it out with this. I felt like I was getting nowhere fast. There will definitely be more, um, there will be editing in here more than I normally do, but um, hopefully you'll get the idea of what I'm doing. Otherwise, my I think I had 50 minutes of raw footage from the last time, but that was because it was taking me so long to work with that quad. So I'm going to work, work on my brows now and I will fast forward through this. The product that I'm using... It's the Milani Easy Brow, which I was surprised this was under $5. I would have thought it would have been more with Milani. And it's a natural taupe. I like the formula. I'll talk to you about this in a little bit. I like the formula. It's a little bit sticky, but it lasted all day long. So once you kind of get the feel of how it works in your brow brows, and I think that's with any new product, then I felt like it went easier when I went over to the thoughts on that is that it's like I said it's a really sticky very waxy formula and I don't love it's tricky it's trickier to work with I think I like some I, I look very mean right now <clears throat> I haven't softened that out yet <laughs> um I let's just take my I do this sometimes with a concealer brush or with my powder brush and just soften things out if I feel like I look a little mean I had to press really hard though to get the product to uh, adhere to the skin <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. The primer that I purchased is the e.l.f. primer. Looks like this. By the way, I find it interesting that there's only this much primer in it. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, it was only like a dollar. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this today. I did not like this at all. It did not work for me just by itself. But then there is not a primer in this world that works for me without having something on top of it. So I went back and looked and... This is going to be my only semi-cheat. Now at my Walmart, the color tattoo pencils sell for $4.99 or $4.94 or something like that. Online they're like five something. $5.35 I think it is. But I'm going with my Walmart. 
and we're going to use that to see if that see if that helps anything because my eyeshadow was creased in a hot minute and I did not really like that so much so this is the one in bronze truffle and I'm just going to put it all over here there's a reason I'm doing this because the quad I'm going to use is actually an old favorite and I liked to use the one shade in it over bad to the bronze but bad but those color tattoos are more than five dollars these are not. I imagine because there's maybe less product. But my intent is to see if this will help the shadows stay a little better like my paint pot from MAC would. Okay, so <clears throat> quick, quick review. The product that I purchased was the... I had no idea that these were under $5 either. And I, I have one that I love and that's what I'm going to use. But... This is the Maybelline Expert Wear Emerald Smokes. These did not blend at all. The only shade I really liked in here was this green one. I ended up using it just beneath my lower lash line. And that has some, you know, relatively decent pigmentation to it. Not much. <laughs> but it was okay out of all of them. The other one, that liner shade, I couldn't get it to blend at all. It was just really tricky. And this shade right here, that didn't really show up on my lid at all unless I wet the brush. So there's a lot of trial and error with that. We're going to go back to an old favorite, which is the designer, as I drop it, the designer chocolate squad. I struggled to find a really fluffy brush that I like to use to kind of put shape, color all over my lid. And I, I, I never was able to find one. <laughs> so um, I've let that dry enough, I think. And I got all excited because I thought maybe this MUA brush I have here, this little one was going to work, but I, that I could use that. But I looked online and... It's eight dollars, not five. So, I'm going to just take the shade in this, the lightest shade here, and with this um, Elf blending brush, which is kind of like a two seventeen ish, and I'm just going to put that up here because that's where it would end up going, and then blend it down just a little bit. I just like to give myself sort of a clean canvas. Um, I probably could have done that with that blush brush. Now that I think of it, but at any rate drink. Say that because somebody said I say at any rate so much it could be a drinking game. <clears throat> She's right. It could be. All right. So I'm going to take my Sony Kashuk number 106 brush. Isn't it nice that that, that the, I was so excited when I figured out that this brush was under five dollars. And I'm going into the, sorry, I'm going into the cranberry shade. I'm just going to put that all over my lid right over that bad to the bronze. It gives just such a pretty look to that shade. And pull that up a little bit. I'm going to put a darker shade on in the corner, but. This would be shorter if I did a voiceover, but you guys have told me in the past you don't like voiceovers. All right, so I have this blending brush from e.l.f. that's more rounded, and it's just one of the $1 brushes. It just says professional eye blending brush. I'm going to go into this shade right here. By the way, I really, you know, my first instinct to do $5 and under would be um, man, I just really need a blending brush, like a 224. It's really, it's tricky, I tell you, it's tricky. Um, was to use Wet n Wild's Nutty, but I'm using what I'll be using probably. Actually, maybe not. I might have to use Wet n Wild's Brulee. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> but I really was trying not to use all one brand or any of my kind of go-tos. I've had this brush in my collection for a long time. It's the elf angled contour brush it's kind of a chunkier brush but i'm going to kind of use it as my stamp method with the darker color and then i'll blend it out with this other brush so we're just going to kind of stamp some see well that works i think this is maybe one of my first brushes that i kind of started my stamp thing with have a little pause while I trim this elf brush of this hair. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go in here and blend with this brush. It is, this is a nice a nice little brush. It's kind of a multitasker, um, and it works pretty well. I want to add just a little bit something deeper to that crease, so I've grabbed my Avon single, and this is the shade in Black Brown. These sell, I think, for about $4. And I'm going with that kind of more precise brush. 
and we're just going to go right into the crease here and again I'm going to kind of place with this brush and then I'm going to switch out and blend with this brush. I'm earning my trophy and my plaque, don't you think? I really like these sing these singles. I only have a couple of them actually. Um, Miss Charlie's Nails sent them to me. Um, I don't have, there's not an Avon lady in the area that I'm aware with. Oh, Avon lady. How old school is that? It's not an Avon representative that I know. I'm sure there is, but not one that I know in this area. And I'm on that flat brush again. I'm just going to kind of re-intensify what I wiped away. This is not a cranberry shade that's going to like knock your socks off. It's kind of a subtle cranberry shade and I think you would enjoy it. If you have pomegranate punk, that color tattoo in pomegranate punk, it's gorgeous over that. So I'm just going to blend that one more time and then I'm just going to take on the very tip of this same brush, I'm going to take some of that cranberry shade and just go on this outer edge here. And you can barely see it, but it just adds a little something. I think, anyway. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually gonna, one of the brushes that I bought from Wet n Wild, yeah, I think it's Wet n Wild, is this, uh, like a flat brush, but it's really stiff. And, and so I didn't like it for packing on color, really. I don't know. I just, the couple of times I've tried it, I didn't like it. So, but I do like it for beneath my lower lash line. So I'm going to go in this darkest shade here because I don't want to use quite as dark as the Avon and just add a little definition to my lower lash line. I just feel like it makes a difference with a little bit. I've wiped out this brush. I'm going into the lightest shade in the quad. And just going to go in my inner corner a little bit. I just want to brighten that just a little bit, not a ton. There's a little shimmer to that shade. And same brush. I'm just going to go underneath my eyebrow. I didn't have to use it, but I had pulled another one. I probably could have instead of using that Avon Brown. I had pulled this other one, which I think is, yeah, Natural Smokes. But that's another good one as well. I just would steer clear of the green one. Unless this this is old packaging and this is new packaging. So unless they change something in their formula, I really hope not. Because, man, I like that. I would be sad about that. Okay. For liner, the Rimmel Exaggerate liner now comes in a retractable, which is absolutely delightful. So I'm going to take the, whoops, I'm going to take the plastic part off of this end because I'll use this end to smudge on my upper lash line. So we're just going to make sure we're in the shot. This is a nice, it's a nice liner, but I'll tell you this, I used this a couple of days. I shot the original video a couple of days ago. Um, and then yesterday I shot something else because I had a break because I was kind of frustrated. Flip it over to the kind of smudgy end and just smudge that out. So I will tell you this. This is a nice liner. It's very creamy. I didn't try it in my lower waterline, but I've tight lined with it and I, and I will again today. And it does transfer a little bit down throughout the day to your lower waterline. People are always curious about that. First I have to do this one. So I've lined and smudged and now I'm just going to tight line. So I do really like this liner. Uh, it's nice that it comes in retractable now. That's I think that's a real bonus. For mascara, and I'm smiling because this this video is an excuse for me to buy one of these, and I haven't bought one in a long time, and it's one of my absolute favorites. It's this CoverGirl Professional Super Thick Lash. This is under $5, you guys, and it's such a great mascara. I think it is anyway. It's not going to give you, like, out-of-control lashes. It's not going to add, like, tons of length, but it does add volume. It builds them up. It makes them look nice, and the brush is nice. It's just a basic brush. You don't need to have, like, you know, something to separate out your lashes along with it. So I'm going to put this on, and then I will come right back. I know that everybody out there is yelling, Jordana Breast Lash Extreme, but... And I do have one of those in my collection, and I, I don't know why I have one, but I do. And the problem is that that one transfers on me, like, in a hot minute. Like, 
very quickly, like within an hour, it's underneath my brow bone. This is a dryer formula, and some people don't appreciate a dryer formula, so I will just um, remind you of that if you've not heard me talk about this mascara before. All right, so mascara on, let's move on to lips. My lip products are both Milani, and I, I'm just amazed that these products are under $5, I have to say, because they're really good. This, this liner, I don't know if this exact liner is around anymore. I'll find whatever I can below, but and listed below. This is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner True Instant Color in Brandy. I've talked about this one a bunch. Sitting here I'm thinking of other things I could have used like for blushes I could have used those Jordana blushes. I don't know if they're still around anymore or not. And then the <laughs> random the number 42 in Rose Femme. I'm not sure if that's the whole world or if it's just Rose. You guys these lipsticks are so nice. I only have a couple of them. I purchased them when I was in New York. But now they sell them in my Walmart. They last, I was going to say all day, that is not true, but probably three-ish hours before I have to touch anything up, They, uh, which I love. And they smell like watermelon, and they're smooth and delightful, or Jelly Rancher, I don't know. They smell like something like, doesn't it just drive you crazy when your battery is dead at just when you have just a little bit more to film? <laughs> All right, so let me zoom you in and I'll show you the eyes. Okay, so here's the look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I really want to thank Tammy and Gita and Emily for challenging me to do this tag. Extra thanks, of course, to Emily for really challenging me to go under $5. I hope that you enjoyed it. I feel like it was a pretty good success, and I had some learning along the way, which is also helpful, and I was able to bring you guys a little more information by having to do it twice, so everything happens for a reason, right? All right, thanks again for watching. I hope you're having a great day, and in everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye!